<laughs> this is a story about 17-hour van rides, landslides, remote villages, and a glimpse into life in the Philippines' incredible mountain province. Let's start at the beginning. On December 20th last year, my friend Sandy told me about an outreach program headed into the mountains of Ting Lion. He wanted me to come. I wanted to go too. But there was only one problem. 17 hours. It would take us 17 hours to drive from Manila up into the mountain province of Luzon. And to be honest, I was tired as I'll get out from the last few weeks of nonstop events, plane tickets, bus rides, and Airbnbs. But I went anyway. On our way there, we encountered a four hour delay on the road. For some reason, the roads, when you get outside of the city, are one lane on either side. They aren't meant for making great time, and they helped stretch a sub 300 mile journey into a 17 hour affair. It just wasn't the right way to start the trip for me. Plus, I was living off of a diet of chocolate and potato chips. Not good either. But we finally did get to Ting Lion, and for the last four to five hours of the way there, the views were spectacular. We got off the van and headed up, up, up into the mountains, carrying school supplies, food, and clothing to the most remote village of this area. The locals didn't speak any English. I met a few of them on my way up. I swear there must have been a thousand plus stairs. There must have been. I saw the women carrying bags of rice on their heads, children in tow, smiling at me all the way. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Not just with the people, but with the views. They were absolutely spectacular, and the journey there was so long that beating sunshine turned into dense fog, rain, and a nippy wind halfway through. This was a totally new side of the Philippines, a colder, wilder side than I'd ever seen, and it was truly breathtaking to me. It felt like San Francisco. The village was rather amazing as well. This is a weird comparison, but the houses sort of reminded me of those from The Revenant, you know. That Leonardo DiCaprio movie set in the mid-1800s. The wooden floors, doors, darkness, fire stoves, all of it. I felt like I would see DiCaprio at any moment. <laughs> the kids were, well, kids. The men were chewing that addictive red nut that I've seen all over social media, spinning every five seconds it seemed. The villagers seemed a little uneasy though. Maybe it was because I was a foreigner. Maybe it was because I was incredibly tired and that's all I saw but I was taken care of extremely well by one of the women in the village. I got my own bed. It was made of wood. Even the mattress was made of wood. I was thankful for it. The following morning, Sandy and I explored. The problem was, I was tired. My already brittle body was shutting down. Crohn's disease already makes me feel like I have zero energy, and the 17-hour van ride plus a one-hour uphill hike plus a diet of chocolate bars wasn't helping. My body largely shut down and I had to flip-flop between resting upstairs and hanging out with the villagers downstairs. I managed to catch some footage of a few games the kids were playing. It looked like fun. This outreach was run by A's Adventures Philippines. We gave out school supplies, cooked food for the locals, and handed out donated clothing as well. The clothing was a hot commodity from what I saw. And before I knew it, we were on our way back to the vans to head back home. As you might have expected, we hit another delay on the way because of a landslide. I was shivering in the back of the van while we waited for three hours. It was that cold up there. This trip was unforgettable. It wasn't an enjoyable one, to be honest, simply because of how hard it was. But I will never forget it. It's sort of like a pain that hurts so good. I learned a lot. I was in awe of the villagers. I was in awe of the rice terraces and mountains. I had never seen views quite like that before. And in my mind, this province of the Philippines is one of the most underrated places in Southeast Asia. I didn't even know it existed. Maybe it's best that nobody knows before the tourists come in and ruin it. Who knows? All I know is, this was a trip I would never forget. <laughs>